Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Now in the previous video, we have talked about installing a lot of stuff through our Jenkins and we have talked about Java as well. So in the previous video, what we talked about is how do you install the automatically part? So if you go to manage Jenkins and uh, if you go to global tool configuration, there's an option of adding a JDK over here. Now what I'm seeing is a lot of problem uh, a lot of people are facing this kind of problem that they are not able to install it automatically because uh, you have to enter your username and password uh, as I've told in the previous video. So there is an easy way to opt it out. So what you can do it, you can just remove this and you have to give the path of Java home. So what we are going to use, uh, if you remember correctly, we have installed Java 11 in our system as of now, but this project needs JDK 8. So what you can do is just give it a name, Oracle. JDK 8. Okay, just remember this name because we are going to use that in, in in future. And then you have to give the Java home. Now what you have to do, you just have to log in into your system, uh, the Jenkins one. So I'm already in the system, I'll get the pseudo privileges, I think I'm already have I already have the pseudo privileges. Okay, so if you do it like this, ls hyphen user hyphen lib hyphen jv not hyphen slash JVM, you will get how many Java it installed, oh, how many Java versions are installed in your system. And if I do Java hyphen version, it will get me the exact one. Okay, so right now we have Java 11 over here. But to run our project, we need Java 8. So what you have to do, you have to install Java 8 as well. Okay, so sudo yum install Java hyphen 1.8.0 hyphen open jdk hyphen devil okay i think this is perfect so once you do this let me expand it so you can understand it'll take some time to download it and then it'll install it okay you can just fast forward the video okay this is done hyphen y just give it a y over here and it is going to install I'm going to wait it till here and uh, you can just fast forward the video if you want. All right. Okay. Oh, so, oh, it started the installation part. Installing, verifying. Perfect. Okay. Let me just clear the screen. Now, if I do Java version over here, hyphen version, it is having 1.8 over here. Now, what you can do is, you can do it like this. Now, you can see that in ls slash user lib, JVM, we have 1.8 as well, and we have 1.11 11 as well. Okay, both of them. So you have to copy this and place it over there. So what I'll do is, I'll just copy this path. I'll go back to my Jenkins, which is in here. Control V, after slash, minimize this. After slash, you have to go for Java 1.8. So what I'll do is I'll just check what exactly is over there. So let's go inside this only and see paste and do an LS over here. So there are a lot of JDKs available over here. So let's try going inside it and see what is there. Copy CD, paste it over here and do an LS over here. So you can see that there is bin, there is Java. If you go inside CD bin, do an ls over here, you can find a lot of files over here. Okay, so let me clear this. The present work directory pwd is this and copy, just copy this, go just go a step back bin, do a pwd over here and copy this path. Okay, all you have to do is this copy, go back to your this control a control v. That's all. And then apply and save. So this is one another way of doing things. Now what happens is sometimes you will install it automatically. If you do that, that's perfectly all right. You don't have to make any changes. But if you do it this way, this way, then uh, it is also all right. So you can choose either of one. In this project, I'll be using this way. All right. Now, there could be another problem that we need to address. So let's see what the problem that you can face now. Let me just clear everything. Now if I do system, ctl stat start sorry i'll just restart jenkins what will happen it will fail 
Job for Jenkins service failed because the control process existed with error code C system CTL status Jenkins service. Now, if you remember in the video, I told about that in Java 1.80, there is no support for the current Jenkins. So this will this will fail. And now we have Java 11 in our system, Java 1.8 and 8 in our system. Our, the recent one is Java 1.8. So our Jenkins is going to make a call to Java 1.8 and it is going to fail. Now, this is the error that you can face. Let me just clear my screen. And now I'll teach you how to get over this. Okay, so let me first come a step back. Okay, so now I'm, I am at the current position. Okay, perfect. Now what I'll do is there is one command to check to get all the Java configuration available in your machine. So basically you have to type alternatives hyphen hyphen config Java. Okay, this is how you can find it. Before doing this, I'll just, I just want to cut this. I'll just copy this first. I want to show you something. And this would be useful for you in the future. What I'll do is I'll do Java hyphen version over here. I'm sorry about that. And you can see that the open JDK version is 1.8352. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. So for that, I'll just paste this alternatives hyphen hyphen config java as soon as you do it it will show you the selection and the command in which one and two are the two places for the java 11 and java 1.8 so you have to select the configuration number now i'll choose one over here because i want one to be the basic one again i'll just clear this no i won't clear this i'll just show you the difference now you can see this plus one has gone over here right so which is used as the priority okay I'll just go back. I'll do Java version over here. And now you can see that the open JDK version is 11.0.07. So that's how you fix this issue. Now I'll do is clear. All you have to type is system CTL start Jenkins. That's all. And let's see whether it comes up or not. It can take up to a few seconds. Perfect. Let me check the status. Perfect, it's running. Now what I'll do is I'll go back and open this and just refresh this. And it is coming up. So this is how you resolve this issue. Okay. And uh, one more thing in the global tool configuration, which I've already talked about uh, uh, the JDK part, this, this we can change if you want later to change it we can change it but right now we'll just try with this one if this works perfectly all right or we'll change this okay so that's all i think yeah so i hope you folks have understood what i have told in this video and uh, if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one